Hi guys, it's Michael Costa here. In this series of videos, we're going to take this mix from this to this using just Waves plugins. Let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to look at our drums and percussion group. And the first of our four plugins that I'm going to feature in this group is an oldie. This is the Paz Position plug. And this is serving a very specific purpose in this case. Open her up here. And if you are like me, you are often sent stereo tracks, but you aren't necessarily sure if they are stereo in the true sense of the word, or if indeed that stereoness is something you want to exploit. So I often use the Paz Position plug as the first plugin, almost as a checking diagnostic sort of plugin. So in this case, I've got it over this conga track. So let me solo up the conga track. And in this case, I'll make sure the panning is hard left and right. So we might listen to this. Let me just hide that for a second. We might listen to this conga track. And in this case, indeed, it will be very stereo, but have a listen. So you can hear that the lower of the congas is coming out on the left and the upper conga is coming out on the right. So if I put up my pass position plug here, you will see on this graphical display, quite clearly the stereo separation is shown. So we want to see things inside this V. Anything outside this V is considered antiphase and may cause problems with mono compatibility and perhaps can give the sensation of things being wider than they are, but that's not always a good thing. The opposite scenario is if we check a track and it actually is genuinely mono. So here's an example of that. I've got the same thing on the shaker track here. So let's pan the shaker track hard left and right like it's in stereo and have a quick listen to it. Okay, now in my headphones, that's sounding pretty central, but sometimes there could be a little bit of a spread. Perhaps there's some reverb on there that's opening it up that you don't hear. But let's open up our pass position and compare with that. And what do we see this time? Right, you can see it's coming straight up the middle. So that 100% confirms to me this is completely mono. So what I've chosen to do in this mix is I'm going to take that mono shaker. I mean, I could just copy it onto a mono track and make it mono, but it's there now, so why bother? I've got one of my pans already hard right. I'll take my other pan and just bring it over a little bit this way. So now the, the composite effect of that is that shaker will move to the right, but not completely hard right. So now you'll hear it. Yeah, so it's like 75% to the right. Now in this case, even as though my conga is true stereo, I'm going to choose to just sacrifice some of that. I'm going to keep my left pan there and I'm going to bring my right pan over a little bit. So even as though, yes, it's stereo, but I'm going to move it all. So it's kind of averaging a lot more on the left hand side. And you can still hear that reverb firing off to the right anyway. So it's, it's not completely dragging it over. So just these two guys together. So now they've each got a space, so I feel like that's a bit of a win. 